God is doing a new thing through and with First Christian, shifting and moving us as a potter does clay on a wheel, preparing us for what's next. The great work on the horizon requires a move from within, which the evolution of our leadership structure will support. Before we introduce the next phase of leadership, we must first celebrate the bricklayers who have paved the way. Today we honor Elder Audrey Gross, who for 22 years has faithfully served as First Christian's office manager. In her role, she established and directed the administrative core that supports all business functions, including, but not limited to, communication, finance, and management of the church as a whole. Elder Audrey retired from this position, leaving a legacy of effectiveness, high standards, and warmth. Thank you, Elder Audrey. The next phase for First Christian will begin with the release of a reimagined leadership team that includes new roles and the introduction of new faces. Administrative Assistant, Wysiola Smith. Service and Worship Council Leader, Minister Janine McCall. Youth Minister, Minister Erica Johnson. Master Teacher, Denise Neal. Minister to Pastoral Care and Bereavement, Sick and Shut-In, Minister Kim Harris. Family Life Council Leaders, Angela Belt and Cherise Queen, Co-Chairs. Legal Counsel to Board of Stewards, Diane Holland. Communications Coordinator, Selena Holmes. Liaison Assistant to Pastors and Pastoral Assistants, Ruth Henderson. Praise and Worship Lead, Michelle Brown. Minister of Music, Jeremy Stewart. We are also launching a new pastoral leadership structure that aligns and redefines the roles of our pastoral leaders and creates capacity so that they can do even more, engage differently, and support the growing needs of our first Christian partners and the community. With this next phase, I, Pastor Kay, will continue as leader with an expanded team that will fully address the vision, mission, and operation of First Christian. In my position, the title has changed to Senior Pastor, and I will continue to serve as the spiritual leader of First Christian, responsible for the creating, developing, and overseeing of the vision. I will continue guiding the leaders as they direct all church ministries, ensuring that key leadership are in place to guide decision-making ministry effectiveness, strategic planning, and overall church direction. I will continue identifying and directing the needs and establishment of new ministries to meet the needs of our partners and communities, as well as working with community leadership and clergy to support ecumenical services and community events that advance the needs of FC3 partners. Pastor Queen's role or title has changed. He will now become the lead pastor. As lead pastor, he will continue supporting myself as senior pastor in carrying out FC3's mission. He will continue aiding in decision making regarding ministry effectiveness. He will continue evaluation, strategic planning, and overall church direction. I will still depend on him for advice and counsel, and also assistant in directing FC3 ministerial and pastoral leadership staff in regarding their assignments and execution of their ministerial duties. Pastor Queen will also continue working with the outreach ministry to ensure the needs of FC3 partners and the community are consistently met. The additional position we are adding is the position of executive pastor, and that will be filled by Pastor James DeCosta. In this position, he will ensure the operational readiness of FC3 through leadership and oversight of the support and contracted staff performing duties in administration, finance, human resources, facilities management, and property management. Pastor DeCosta will work collaboratively with myself as senior pastor and church leadership to establish agendas, chairs, and facilitate the board of stewards and church-wide business meetings and serve as FC3 spokespersons to local and external communities. Together, the three of us will continue to shepherd FC3 as we face new challenges, expand the reach of the Word of God, and welcome new partners.